Did you know that South Africa is the only country in the world with three capital cities? Yes, Pretoria, Cape Town, and Bloemfontein each serve a different role in governing this vast country. But that's just scratching the surface. South Africa is a land of surprises, where ancient history, breathtaking wildlife, and vibrant culture collide. In today's video, we're going on an in-depth journey across the most stunning places to visit in this country. From exploring the untamed wilderness to sipping world-class wines in the Cape Winelands, we'll uncover the secrets that make South Africa a traveler's dream destination. So buckle up, because this isn't just a travel guide, it's a deep dive into the heart and soul of a nation. Before we step in this adventure, let's take a moment to learn a few fun facts about South Africa that you probably didn't know. South Africa is home to the world's largest bird, the ostrich, and the heaviest flying bird, the cory bustard. And here's something that might surprise you. About 20% of the world's gold comes from South African mines. No wonder they call it the land of riches. Now, let's get to the real treasure, the places you absolutely can't miss when you visit South Africa. Let's start with Cape Town, a city so beautiful that it's often called one of the top tourist destinations in the world. And it's easy to see why. The majestic Table Mountain rises above the city like a silent guardian. If you're adventurous, you can hike to the top, but for those looking for a more relaxing route, there's always the famous cable car. Once at the summit, you'll be treated to panoramic views of the city stretching out to the Atlantic Ocean and beyond. But Cape Town's beauty is not just natural, it's steeped in history. Robben Island is a must visit for any traveler. This island prison once held political prisoners, including the world-renowned Nelson Mandela, who was incarcerated here for 18 of his 27 years of imprisonment. Guided tours are conducted by former prisoners, offering a powerful first-hand account of South Africa's fight for freedom and equality. Here's an unexpected story. One tour guide, a former prisoner, often shares how he and Mandela would quietly communicate, even under the strictest of surveillance. Despite the walls, despite the hardships, they never lost their sense of hope. A visit to Robben Island is not just a journey through history. It's a reminder of the resilience of the human spirit. From history to nature, don't miss Kirstenbosch Botanical Gardens, where over 7,000 species of South African flora await. Imagine walking through the treetops on the Boomslang Canopy Walkway with the scent of finbos and proteas in the air. It's more than a garden. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and a evidence to South Africa's botanical diversity. For a change of pace, head to the Victoria and Alfred waterfront. It's not just a shopping and dining destination, it's a cultural hub the waterfront is home to the Zeitz Moke AA, the largest museum of contemporary African art in the world. And don't miss the Two Oceans Aquarium, where you can get up close and personal with the marine life from both the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. With its blend of adventure, history, and culture, Cape Town truly offers something for everyone. Next, we venture just an hour outside of Cape Town to the heart of South Africa's wine country, Stellenbosch. You don't have to be a wine expert to enjoy what this region has to offer. The sheer beauty of the rolling vineyards, set against the backdrop of the Cape Fold Mountains, is reason enough to visit. Stellenbosch isn't just a town, it's a living piece of history. Established in 1679, it's one of the oldest towns in South Africa, Take a stroll down Dorp Street, where centuries-old oak trees shade Cape Dutch-style buildings. The architecture alone will transport you back to a time when this town was a vital hub for the early Dutch settlers. Here's a little-known fact. Stellenbosch is home to some of the world's oldest wine cellars. Some of the estates here, like Groot Constantia, have been producing wine for over 300 years. While in Stellenbosch, 
a wine tour is a must. Whether you're a fan of red, white, or sparkling, there's a wine here for everyone. Many of the vineyards also offer unique food pairings, from artisanal cheeses to handcrafted chocolates. It's not just about the wine, though. Stellenbosch is also known for its art galleries, local markets, and an increasingly trendy culinary scene. Be sure to stop by one of the many farm-to-table restaurants to taste dishes inspired by the region's fresh produce. For outdoor enthusiasts, Stellenbosch offers much more than just vineyards. You can take to the mountain biking trails or enjoy a leisurely hike through Yonkershuk Nature Reserve, where cascading waterfalls and stunning views await. Now let's head to Hermanus, a small coastal town with a big reputation. Known as the whale-watching capital of the world, Hermanus is a prime spot to see southern right whales up close. From June to December, these magnificent creatures come right up to the cliffs of Walker Bay to calve and mate. The town even has its own whale crier who signals sightings to visitors using a horn. Now that's dedication. Imagine standing at the cliff's edge the ocean stretched out before you, and then seeing a whale breach, its massive body launching into the air. It's a sight you'll never forget. And the best part? You don't need to hop on a boat to witness this spectacle. It's all viewable from land. Hermanus isn't just about whales, though. The town has become a hotspot for food lovers, too. From local seafood fresh off the boat to fine dining and boutique restaurants, Hermanus offers a culinary experience that's as impressive as its marine life. If you're up for more adventure, just a short drive away is Gens Bay. Known for something a bit more daring, shark cage diving. Yes, you can come face to face with great white sharks in their natural habitat. It's not for the faint of heart, but if you're seeking an adrenaline rush, this is it. South Africa's garden route is often called one of the most scenic drives in the world, and for good reason. This 300-kilometer stretch of coastal road offers some of the most varied landscapes you'll ever see. Towering cliffs, dense forests, peaceful lagoons, and pristine beaches. Your journey begins in Mossel Bay, a town steeped in maritime history. Stop at the Bartolomeu Dias Museum complex where you'll find a replica of the ship used by the famous Portuguese explorer. From here, make your way to Wilderness, a town that lives up to its name with its untouched beaches, lakes, and rivers. If you're a bird watcher, this is paradise. Wilderness is home to over 250 bird species. But no stop along the garden route is complete without visiting Kanisna, a coastal town famous for its oysters and the dramatic Kanisna Heads. These towering cliffs guard the entrance to the Ninisna Lagoon, and a boat trip through them is a thrilling way to experience the power of the ocean. As you continue east, you'll enter Sitsikama National Park, an outdoor adventurer's dream. The park's suspension bridges provide spectacular views of Storm's River as it meets the ocean. And for the truly brave, Sitsikama offers bungee jumping off the Blukrens Bridge, the highest commercial bungee jump in the world. Now let's leave the coast and head inland to one of South Africa's crown jewels, Kruger National Park. Covering nearly 20,000 square kilometers, Kruger is one of Africa's largest and most famous game reserves. This is where you come to experience the real African safari. Kruger is home to the Big Five, lion, leopard, rhino, elephant, and buffalo. But that's just the beginning. With over 500 bird species and countless other animals like giraffes, zebras, and hippos, Kruger is a wildlife enthusiast's dream. You can explore the park on a guided tour or drive yourself along its many well-maintained roads. Either way, the thrill of spotting a lion or an elephant in the wild is an experience like no other. 
For a more intimate connection with nature, try a walking safari. Accompanied by experienced rangers, these walks offer a chance to learn about the smaller details of the park, like tracking animals through their footprints or discovering the medicinal properties of native plants. Just be prepared. You never know what you might encounter on foot. KwaZulu-Natal is a province that blends stunning landscapes with rich cultural heritage. The towering Drakensberg Mountains form a dramatic backdrop, offering some of the most scenic hiking trails in the country. These peaks aren't just for show, they hold some of the oldest sand rock art, telling stories that date back thousands of years. KwaZulu-Natal is also the heartland of the Zulu nation, and a visit to a traditional Zulu village offers a fascinating glimpse into their way of life. Here, you can experience traditional music, dance, and food while learning about Zulu customs and beliefs. It's an immersive cultural experience that goes beyond sightseeing. But don't forget Durban. Known for its Golden Mile, an iconic stretch of beaches along the warm Indian Ocean, Durban is a favorite destination for surfers and sunbathers alike. The city is also famous for its mix of Zulu, Indian, and colonial cultures. Be sure to stop by one of Durban's many curry houses to taste a local specialty. The bunny chow, a hollowed out loaf of bread filled with spicy curry. Next, we travel to the Karoo, a vast semi-desert region that covers much of central South Africa. The Karoo might seem desolate at first glance, but it's actually teeming with life, both natural and historical. This region is known for its wide open landscapes, ancient fossils, and quirky little towns. One of the most famous destinations here is the Karoo National Park, where you can see everything from the elusive black rhino to the towering eland. The park also offers incredible hiking trails, where you can take in views that stretch as far as the eye can see, and if you're lucky, you might even spot a rare aardvark or porcupine roaming the rugged terrain. Fun fact, many paleontologists flock to the Karoo because it's one of the richest fossil areas in the world. You might just be walking on land that was once home to prehistoric creatures millions of years ago. For those seeking peace and quiet, the Karoo's small towns like Prince Albert and Graf René offer a unique escape from the rush of modern life. Here, you'll find charming guest houses, farm-to-table restaurants, and the perfect conditions for stargazing under some of the clearest skies on Earth. If you're looking for off-the-beaten-path adventure, the Wild Coast is where you need to go. Stretching along South Africa's Eastern Cape, the wild coast lives up to its name with rugged cliffs, hidden beaches, and rolling hills that seem untouched by time. This is a place for true explorers, where the rewards are found in nature's raw beauty. One of the highlights of the wild coast is the Hole in the Wall, a natural rock formation carved by the ocean. The surrounding area is perfect for hiking, swimming, and simply soaking in the awe-inspiring views. But the Wild Coast is more than just a scenic destination. It's home to the Shosa people, and visiting the traditional villages here offers a rare glimpse into an ancient way of life. For adventurers, the Wild Coast provides plenty of opportunities for hiking along the dramatic coastline, horse riding on secluded beaches, and even abseiling down waterfalls. Whether you're looking for a peaceful retreat or an adrenaline rush, the Wild Coast offers a sense of adventure like nowhere else in South Africa. Our next stop takes us to the Cedarburg Mountains, located just a few hours north of Cape Town. The Cedarburg is a hiker's paradise, filled with dramatic rock formations, crystal clear mountain pools, and ancient sand rock art that dates back thousands of years. One of the most famous landmarks here is the Wolfberg Arch, a massive natural rock arch that looks like something out of a fantasy novel. 
the hike to the arch is challenging, but the reward at the top is worth every step. If you're looking for a shorter trek, the Maltese Cross is another iconic formation that offers stunning views of the surrounding landscape. The Cedarburg is also home to some of the oldest rock art in the world. Painted by the sand people, these cave paintings tell stories of life in the region thousands of years ago, offering a fascinating glimpse into South Africa's ancient past. For those who enjoy a little more relaxation, the Cedarburg is famous for its rooibos tea, which is grown exclusively in this region. Many of the local farms offer tours where you can learn about the tea-making process and sample freshly brewed rooibos right from the source. Here's a surprising fact. The Cedarburg is one of the best places in South Africa for stargazing. With little to no light pollution, the night sky comes alive with constellations, making it the perfect spot to sit back, relax, and marvel at the universe. Last but certainly not least, we arrive in Johannesburg, the city of gold. Joburg, as the locals call it, is a sprawling metropolis where South Africa's past, present, and future come together. Start your visit at the Apartheid Museum, a powerful and emotional journey through the history of racial segregation in South Africa. It's a sobering experience, but an important one for understanding the country's struggles and triumphs. A visit to Soweto, a township with a pivotal role in South Africa's history, is another must. Walk through Vilakazi Street, where both Nelson Mandela and Archbishop Desmond Tutu once lived, and stop by the Hector Peterson Museum, which commemorates the students who lost their lives during the 1976 Soweto uprising. Despite its heavy history, Johannesburg is also a city of innovation and culture. From the trendy neighborhoods of Maboneng and Bramfontein, where art galleries and food markets thrive, to the upscale dining and shopping in Santon, Joburg offers something for every taste. South Africa is a country of contrasts, where ancient landscapes meet modern cities, and where cultural richness blends seamlessly with natural beauty. It's a place that captivates the heart, sparks curiosity, and leaves you wanting more. Whether you're here for the adventure, the history, the wildlife, or the wine, one thing's for sure, South Africa promises an unforgettable journey. After seeing this side of South Africa, is it on your travel bucket list? Let me know in the comments, and don't forget to like this video if it inspired you. And of course, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss an adventure with us and help us on creating more incredible travel guides. If you're hungry for more hidden gems from around the world, be sure to check out our other videos on unique travel destinations. So, what are you waiting for? Pack your bags, book your flight, and get ready to experience the magic of South Africa.